what's up guys welcome back to my channel so I'm super excited to be introducing my next tutorial series and this one will be on Next.js so it will essentially be a Next.js crash course so if you're a beginner or an intermediate this course is designed for you so this is the first video in which I will go over the outline of this course and just kind of give a brief introduction so as you can see, the first thing is the course intro, which is what we're doing right now. The second video will be on what exactly is Next.js. So we're going to be looking over their website. We're going to be installing the basic Next.js starter project and going over the boilerplate files. So if you're familiar with Create React App, we're going to be doing the same thing, but with Next.js. So it will be Create Next App. So in the second video, there'll be no writing code just looking over that basic boilerplate. But in the third video, we're going to start diving into some of the basics. So we're going to look at pages and routing. We're going to look at CSS support and the various ways that you can include CSS and styling into your project. We're going to look at data fetching. And then we're going to take a look at static files and how you can include those. So images or other global style sheets. Finally, we're going to look at environment variables or API keys and how you can keep those secret in your project by using a .env file. And then how you can access those variables throughout your entire project. Now once we finish with the basics, we're going to take on an actual project. And the project that we're going to be doing is creating a social media dashboard. So I'm really excited about this project. It was really fun to build. And basically what it is, is it uses a bunch of third-party APIs to fetch data about your social media account. So followers, following, uh, how many GitHub repos you have, stars, stuff like that. So as you can see, the three APIs that we will be using are YouTube, GitHub, and Strava. So I'll be making a video separately for each of those so we can really dive deep into the API. So those videos, even if you don't want anything to do with Next.js, but you just want to interact with that specific API, those videos will be for that. And then the project will also combine all of the basics that we learned, so the pages, the CSS support, static files, environment variables, all of that, it will include that as well. So that project will encompass all of the basics and intermediate level of Next.js. And then finally, what we're going to do is we are going to take that project and deploy it. So the service we will be using to deploy our project is Versal, and Versal is a great way to deploy. It's super easy, it is free, and what you'll find is that it integrates with GitHub. So we will be pushing our code to our GitHub account, and Versal will take that code, bundle up, and deploy it for us. And when you want to make changes to your project, you simply just push to your GitHub account and that Inversal will take care of the rest. And then we also need to make sure that we include our API keys when we deploy it as well, because our local keys will not work in production. So I'll show you how to add keys to Versal so you can access your API in production as well as locally. And then finally, we're going to go a step further and add a custom domain. So Versal provides us with a free domain, but we want a custom domain. So we'll be using Namecheap to go by and register a domain and then connect that to Versal. So the last thing I want to mention in this video is here's the uh, Next.js website, but right here is my GitHub repository. And this will be holding the code for the social dashboard that we will be building. So right now it's currently empty, but as soon as I get to that portion of the tutorial, all the code will be pushed here. And that's it for this video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you're excited for this Next.js crash course. And I'll see you in the next one.